Good morning all, my name is Aldo Caraceto, I'm an application engineer in MathWorks and I welcome you in this session where I will show how to approach the design of a control system to keep in tension a plastic web during the production through model-based design in Simulink. So let's start moving in Simulink and have a look at the representation of the design. We have a schematic example of our system as you are used in Simulink with different parts and we'll we will focus on later. And we have the press play button and we see how the system evolves. We see the four rollers here and the web moving between the rollers. And here we see how the measure tension converge to the set point. So how to get this using model based design in Simulink? Well, let's start speaking about this application and move into design process progressively. The control of the tension for a web is a common application very widespread in several industries. You can see some relevant examples here. In general, there is always a big role of some material which is deployed along the production line to produce, for example, packages or to print some texture on. The aspect we want to focus on is the tension between one and two couple of rollers, as you see from the image here. The PLC command will change the speed of drums to keep the tension of the field close to the set point value. If we want to approach the problem in a physical or mathematical fashion, we consider the equation of the mass conservation. Here you see we have two different expressions. These expressions are perfectly equivalent. Uh, they are representing the same phenomenon. Uh, but the slight difference is uh, uh, if we choose one of the other one, we can decide to use different technologies in our model-based development. In particular, I want to explain a bit about units and uh, parameters you find in these equations. We have L, which is the web length. We have E, which is the Young's modulus and uh, is representative of the elasticity of the web material. We have uh, the cross section of the web material, the web tension uh, expressed as a force in Newton. We have the web speed and then we have uh, the strain, which is unitless. However, this application is not trivial at all. Here you are some of the issues associated with it. First of all, we have uh, application linked issues. Uh, for instance, compensating adequately the strong disturbances on the film tension coming from the part of the system preceding the region under control. And uh, the fact that the control system must consider there are two mechanical subsystems interacting together a transitional mechanic associated with the web system and a rotational mechanic associated with the rollers rotating around their axis. Then we have also design workflow linked issues. Um, first, first of all, we have a compensator tuned online through PLC vendor software and the task is done from scratch. And uh, if the project is brand new, is even more expensive in terms of time and resources because it's not possible to count on existing values of parameters. Uh, then there are no tools to perform fault analysis on the system and as a result some condition particularly critical and if the worst comes to the worst breakdown condition are not detected systematically. And finally a considerable quantity of web is wasted during the tuning of the machinery because testing is long and expensive and in order to tune the system the final machine or a prototype of it must repeat at least a production cycle, which means wasting material. 
So what happens if we don't fix the issues listed before? Here you are some examples. This is not an exhaustive list, but just a series of common flaws you can notice at the end of the development process of your machine when it starts to work at your customer site, when it's too late to sort things out. Model-based design allows you to gradually grow your project, testing it iteratively, just making it progressively more robust along the way, avoiding the most unpleasant surprises at the end of the development process.